Today I will show you how to make a simple temperature logger and then I will provide you with the software with uh, Arduino sketch and Python script so that you can upload upload your data directly to UV Dats. So let's begin this part with constructing the data logger. For that you need 11 jumper wires, one uh, 4.7K resistor, DS18B20 temperature sensor, SD card reader, and of course Arduino Uno and breadboard. And so let's begin. I begin with putting the temperature sensor on the breadboard and it has three legs let's say the rightmost leg is uh, for um, ground the middle leg is for digital uh, input and the leftmost leg is for VCC uh, we have to remember that middle leg and the uh, VCC leg has to be they have to be connected with 4.7k resistor so I place it in the breadboard it's a little bit clunky but it should work and now let's uh, first I should connect ground from Arduino to the negative rail on the breadboard and 5 volts from the Arduino to the positive rail and now let's connect the temperature sensor so the leftmost leg is VCC which we connect to 5 volts positive rail on the breadboard then the middle leg is the is the data leg and we connect it to the uh, digital digital pin 2 and the rightmost leg is ground which I connect to the ground of the breadboard uh, negative rail and it should work now now let's connect SD card reader it sticks very nicely so oh, maybe I show you what what let's how to connect so first leg is ground second leg is VCC third is MISO which stands for master input slave output in this case arduino is master and sd card reader is slave fourth pin is master output slave input sck stands for system clock i guess and cs is chip select so let's put it into the breadboard and connect it so ground goes to breadboard ground VCC goes to positive rail then MISO MISO 
goes to digital pin 12 and it's fixed pin it cannot be changed it's just how the arduino uno works then mosi also is also fixed and it goes to digital pin 11 then there is uh, SCK system clock and it goes to digital pin 13 and finally chip select it can go to any of the digital pins but we will use digital pin 10 so that's how the circuit looks like now let's see if this thing works so now when the whole circuit is complete we can check whether it works and I have two programs for that the first one is the program I have written yesterday and it uh, sends data and temperature logs through serial port to Python script as well as saves the logs on SD card and the second program is uh, called card info it's uh, an example from SD card libra SD library so everyone who installed Arduino ID has it installed so now I will connect Arduino with the computer and I will upload the first program to check whether the temperature sensor works after two seconds there should appear a first value so let's wait and now let's see yes it works now I will touch it so we will see if it changes value yeah it works perfectly so the temperature sensor works now let's see if the card reader works mm, you have to bear in mind that in order to work this program has to be changed in this line const INT chip select it to 10 because we used digital pin 10 instead of 4 which is default in this program so we have to change this line and now let's download this program to the Arduino and check if the SD card reader works so as you can see it works perfectly the SD card is initialized card type is HDHC volume type FAT33 files found on the card logs2.csv it's the file created by the previous program so it works perfectly so this part is finished in the second part I will provide you with the program program uh, for saving data on SD card and sending sending mm, this data to Python script as well as with the Python script itself. So see you in the part two of this tutorial.